In this video, we are going to learn camera shake in Unreal Engine. If you guys like my video and learning from them, please consider supporting me by pressing that thanks button. So without any delay, let's jump into Unreal Engine. My name is Viral Shah and welcome back to my channel Render Rebels. As you guys can see here, I have loaded a basic scene in Unreal Engine 5.4. We are first going to implement our camera shake on this basic scene and then we are going to replicate it onto our main scene. So let's get started. Let's first create a camera here to focus on an object. So let's just go to this burger icon. Let's click on create create camera here and let's create a camera actor. Let's just switch to our camera here. And now we are going to change some properties here. Let's just go to digital film. Now let's scroll downwards. We are going to go to tracking the focus and we are going to drag this cube here. And now let's just change our focal length from 11.88 to something like 28 or 27. And because we have done the tracking of this cube here in the focus, if we move here or here, our focus will be on this cube only, which is a good thing because we are going to apply a camera shake in this scene here. Now to apply camera shake, you need to add a camera blueprint into your sequencer. So let's just create a level sequence here. Let's just go to sequencer and let's just add a level sequence here. Let's just create a new folder. Let's name it to camera shake sequence. Let's just enter and let's just name this to camera shake. Okay. Now we have created a new level sequence here. Let's just add our camera here. So go to add, go to actor to sequencer and add your sign camera actor here. Now, as I told you before, we need to create a blueprint, a camera shake blueprint. So let's just go to content drawer here. Let's just go to our camera shake sequence. Let's just right click here and we are going to create a new blueprint class. We are not going to use any actor pawn characters of blueprint. We are directly going to search in all classes. So just click on this arrow here and just type here camera shake. And if you scroll downwards, you will find a camera shake base. Just select it and just name it to camera shake one. Okay. Now we are going to double click it. As soon as you double click, you will find something like this. You don't need to do any blueprint here. Just close it and open it again. And you will see we are getting something like this here. So let's just resize it and we need to change the pattern here. With the help of the pattern, it will create a camera shake into our scene here. So let's just click on this none and let's just change it to Pauline noise camera shake pattern. And as soon as I do that, you will find that we are getting this location, rotation, FOV and timing here. You need to compile it again and again if it's showing you a exclamation sign, a yellow exclamation sign because you need to compile it or else it will not get applied into your scene. Let's just save it. Now we need to add this camera shake into our sign camera actor. So let's just click on this plus icon here. Let's just go to camera shake and let's just add our camera shake one blueprint which we created. And as soon as I have done that, you can see we are getting something like this. If I play here, you can see we are getting a slight shake into our scene. What we need to do? You guys can see the timing of this is around 30 frames only. So if I go backward here, you can see we are getting a slight shake and now our camera is stable here. So we need to increase the duration of this camera shake. For that, you need to go to timing here and just increase the duration to around let's say 6 seconds. And now you can see we have increased our camera shake to 6 seconds here. And now if I play here, you can see we are getting a simple camera shake into our scene. So this is how easy it is to create camera shake in Unreal Engine. So let's just pause it. Let's just compile and save it. Now let's take it to another level by tweaking the settings which are available in the camera shake blueprint. So if I go to location here, you can see we are getting the location of X, Y and Z. So let's say if you want to move your camera more into X axis here, 
so what you can do you can click on this x axis and you can increase the amplitude of x axis here so if i press 5 here if i compile and save it again and if i play here you will find that we are getting more shake in x axis okay same way we can go for z also so let's just do a 20 this time a higher number so you can see what exactly is happening so now you can see we are getting this camera shake in x and z okay so this is how you can change camera shake in location tab same way you can do it in rotation also so let's just give a rotation amplitude of one here so it will apply one in pitch also one in yaw also and one in roll also so basically this is getting multiplied with our overall rotation amplitude multiplier so if i compile it here and save now you will see we are getting rotation also into our camera shape and this is looking really good so this is used basically to create a handheld effect of a camera it's same as you record a video into your phone this is same camera shake which you can achieve in unreal engine without playing with transformation keys in sequencer okay so let's just decrease this in our location now so let's just go to x let's just do it one here and in z also we are going to do one here okay let's just compile and save it now i want to show you guys one more thing so basically you can do a camera shake in zoom in and zoom out also so this is field of view so if i take the amplitude of field of view to around 5 here and if i compile and save it again and now you can see our camera is zooming in and zooming out in our field of view so you can create this type of effect also with the help of camera shake now if i scroll downwards there is only a timing which is having a duration of 6 seconds if we want to decrease the field of view to let's say 0.5 here and let's just decrease the rotation amplitude to around 0.5 let's just compile and save it here let's just go backwards and let's just play now and now you can see we are getting this simple camera shake into our scene now let's say we want to move forward into our scene we can now animate it with the transform key here so let's just click on this key icon now let's just go to last frame here and let's just move forward a bit something like this and let's just press this key icon again if you want you can turn on the auto key also so it will automatically key your scene whenever the transformation is changed now let's just click on this and let's just change it to linear so before changing it to linear i want to show you how exactly the graph is working so this is a basic smooth animation graph which is applied into our transform so it is going to start slow then uh, take on the pace and then again slow down but we want a linear animation we want a linear speed from start to end to do that you need to just left click and select both the keys here right click and just change the interpolation to linear here and now you can see we are getting this same speed from start to end with camera shake effect so this is how easy it is guys to create camera shake in unreal engine now let's just implement this same camera shake into our main scene which i have created i have opened this scene which i have created in unreal engine there are two cameras here this is first camera and this is my second camera we can add the same camera shake animation in this scene also we don't need to recreate the camera shake again we can implement our old camera shake into this scene so let's just see how we can do that so let's just go to our first camera here now let's just create a sequencer here so let's just add a level sequence now let's just name it to short one final or something like that now let's just add our camera let's go to add let's go to actor to sequencer and let's search for sign camera actor and let's uh, uh, click on our camera actor zero here and now you can see we are getting this camera into our level sequence now we need to add that camera shake into this sequence so it's easy guys you need to click on this plus icon into our camera actor and you need to go to camera shake and add that camera shake one which we have created earlier and now if i scroll downwards you can see we are getting this camera shake into our level sequence here let's just play it now and now you can see we are getting this camera shake effect so let's just reduce it a bit let's just modify it a bit so we are going to go to our camera shake 
let's just play with our rotation and our location here so we are going to go to fov we are not going to add any fov here and now let's just compile and save it let's just play it again and now you can see we are getting this handheld effect which is looking really nice here and now we are going to add a transform key here and i am going to move it a bit downward here something like this okay now we are going to go to last frame okay and we are going to move forward something like this here okay and something like this okay and now let's just key it again okay and if i play it now you can see we are getting something like this here okay it's way too fast so we need to adjust the keyframes here okay and i'm not liking the starting position here so i am going to tweak that also so i am going to move it somewhere over here and i am going to key it again let's just play it and now you can see we are getting something like this so let's just do one thing let's just go here i am going to move forward here something like this okay i am going to start from here so it will feel like as if we are walking here and now let's just play you can see each and every steps i am doing i am not skipping anything so you guys can learn from my mistakes also and now you can see we are getting something like this it's way too upwards at the last so we are going to go downward a bit here something like this and we are going to key it again here okay so let's just go backwards here let's just play okay now we are getting a really good result in our camera shake but if i play here you will find that there is a jerk at the end of the keyframe because we have applied two keys here okay so you need to zoom in here a bit and you need to delete this key which is applied here and you just need to extend this key to 150 and now you will find there is no jerk into our scene also so if i play it again now you can see we are getting this handheld effect in unreal engine a camera shake and now you can increase the camera shake also so let's say we want some more rotation into our camera shake so let's just do one here and if i scroll backwards and play now you can see we are getting this perfect camera rotation into our camera shake here so this is looking nice we can move forward also if we want so let's just first convert this auto to linear as we saw before also so let's just select this keys here let's just right click and let's just do a linear key animation let's just do go backwards and let's just see okay this is now looking really good so don't forget to switch from auto to linear to get even speed from start to end and now if you want you can move forward a bit also so what i'm going to do i am going to go to this jump to next keyframe so basically what's the difference between these two this will jump to your keyframes which you have keyed and this will jump to your start and end frame basically okay this is from start frame this is end frame and this is your keyframes so always use this keyframe so basically it can show what keyframes you have applied and now we can move it a bit forward here okay and we can key this out and now if i play you will see okay this is now looking really good so this is how easy it is to create camera shake in unreal engine and you can use it in your cinematic shots your architecture your film this is how easy it is to create camera shake in unreal engine and you can apply it to your own project and just render out the sequence from next month we are going to create some projects which i am going to show from start to finish so it would not be a walkthrough we are going to go in depth from level design to materials to lighting to animation to sequencer from start to end and we are going to look at different projects like product visualization architecture level design etc so if you like my video please subscribe to my channel share it with your friends who want to learn unreal engine see you next time bye bye guys